All right. So here comes our green monster. So we have our warm solution. We have to add, okay, our, um, our hydrogen peroxide, because that's the solution that's going to create the fizzing. This is 30%. Okay, so that's about good enough. Now, nothing's going to go on, or if it's going, it's not going to be that sexy because the rate of reaction is too slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a catalyst. Now, this catalyst, not iodine, is a little, little purdier. This is cobalt chloride, and this is a nice little purdy color. That's about right. Notice the color of it. Okay, and notice I don't have the, um, the uh, camera on it. So we got the fizzing appearing. And you see the color of, you see the height, right? Oh, here comes the green monster. There comes the green monster! Which is like the activated complex. But what's cool about this is that all of a sudden, it rises up! And hopefully, 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 hopefully it, oh, started high, we went low, we had the nice little up green. High, low. Yeah, so you have an exothermic reaction, started high, right? It went a little lower. And if that's truly a catalyst, truly a catalyst, did, did it get reformed at the end? No. There's some color. Yeah, it would be. To test the hypothesis out. Catalysts get reformed at the end. So if I add more reactants, shouldn't this go again? Well, it means that you it takes it on a pathway, but the last step, the catalyst gets reformed again. Oh, oh, it's going up. It's, it's about to go over again. Now I and then back down up. <laughs> if this works perfectly, it actually snaps down fast, but hey. Yeah, you get what you get. All right, so that's an example of a catalyzed reaction again.